Welcome back. Our next guests were only 14 years old when they were cast as the troublesome Fred and George Weasley in the iconic Harry Potter movie franchise. Fast forward, wait for this, 20 <laughs> years. Everyone oh, feels dear. old about that, I think. Uh, the twins have expanded their reach beyond Diagon Alley and have now taken to the airwaves with their brand new podcast, Normal Not Normal. And we're delighted that actors James and Oliver Phelps join us on the line. Good morning, chaps. You're very welcome to Ireland AM. Good morning, guys. Well, Morning, Morning, guys. guys. Thank you for having us. Listen, uh, so many questions to ask you. Um, lots of Harry Potter fans tuned in. So let's start there and let's start at the very beginning. Let's go back, as we said, 19, almost 20 years to uh, when you guys were cast. James, maybe you'll talk us through how uh, the casting process was for you, how you went about auditioning and what it was like when you got the call to say, yeah, lads, you're in. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. So it was the last about the last week of school. Um so and the casting just happened to be on a Tuesday. So that meant we had to take a day off school, which okay, we did that. <laughs> and um so we, we went to Leeds, uh, which is about two and a half hours away from where we live now, which to everyone outside of America is a long way, isn't it? So, <laughs> yeah. so we went there and we thought, well, we'll see what we'll see what happens and if we get in, great great. If not, it's a, it's an experience. So we got to, it's an open audition at this, there's a huge hotel and there was thousands of people there going for all different roles. And we realized we were the only set of twins there who weren't wearing the same clothes because ah. we always dress differently. So the, so we picked a raffle number and then you have to wait your turn for two or three hours it was. So we ended up running over to the department store over the road, grabbing two shirts off the rack <laughs> and then we wore them for the <laughs> for the audition and by the time and then so our number was called and then there was two lines to go in like the two rooms which you would be seen door on the left door on the right we went in the door on the left which just so happened to have the head casting director in so it was one of those where we we'll still never know if we would have got the yeah. part who went in the other door but luckily, um, Janet Hudson, who was the main casting director, liked what she saw. We then ended up having about five auditions after that over the summer holidays. And then, yeah, we got the phone call saying, do you guys want to be Fred and George Weasley? Wow. And uh, Oliver, let me bring you in here. We're seeing some wonderful older pictures. Um, from that moment <laughs> yeah. to the set, uh, give us a sense of day one on, on the set of Harry Potter. I mean, you, you couldn't have known that it was about to become this cult series. No, I mean, we knew that there was a lot of interest in it because I remember the first scene that we ever recorded was actually on location up in uh, in Yorkshire. Um, and it was the scene when Harry and all the school kids get on the Hogwarts Express to go home yeah. at the end of the film. And I remember on the, um, on the hill opposite, there were all these camera crews and news agencies trying to get photographs. So there was obviously quite a bit of buzz about it. Mm. But would I have known that it would have gone on this long and taken us all around the globe and people know you know, our characters and everything about it as well, probably not. So we're very, very fortunate to be part of something so cool. It's incredible then, as, as it went on, uh, you know, the second movie, the third movie, the fourth movie, there's so many things in terms of, like James, you got to work with some of the finest actors in the world were cast in that movie. And you guys were there on a daily basis working with them. And by the time these actors were coming in on series two and three, you guys were the veterans. I mean, I'd imagine it changed as each movie went along, you know what I mean? Because the buzz got bigger, the expectation about the next movie, the next installment was bigger. What was it like dealing with it in terms of, you know, how did it change from the first movie, James, until to the second and third and so on? Uh, to, uh, to be, I guess the technology was always changing because they were yeah. literally creating technology for the the visual effects and all that kind of stuff. But on set, I can't say it changed that much. I think when you're so close to something, you don't really appreciate how big it is. So it's only now when you've got like we were, we were speaking the other day to someone and they went for their first date with their now wife to see the first Harry Potter. Now they've got two <laughs> kids and they all watch it as a family. Incredible. So it's, it's crazy how it's, uh, like I say, being so close to it, I don't think you appreciate just how big it is, but we're, st we're still very good friends with many of the cast and crew. It's, it's like school friends, really. Like, everyone is still speaking to somebody. Well, that's lovely to yeah. hear, and I think any Harry Potter fan will be delighted to hear that you're part of that Harry Potter network. And, of course, that comes in very handy for the new podcast, guys. 
It does, yeah. So it's, it actually all came about kind of organically at the uh, when the first lockdown came in uh, over here in, in England. Um, what last last springtime now, and it literally came on the back of there. And we did a we did a podcast with Bonnie Wright, who plays uh, our, our little sister Ginny in the films. And that thing just caught fire. Like there was that many interest in like people watching it, and it just it just kind of progressed from there. Really doing the doing the podcast, and it's just been really good. And the good thing about it is the response we've had from a lot of the the fan base who said it's a great escapism because James and I have got two rules on the podcast, which is no religion and no politics talk. Um, you can get that anywhere else right now, so we don't talk about anything like that. So it's quite nice to be able to get into conversations with people we know and some people we don't know as well, and just hear about their story. So the whole series of this normal, not normal season is very much a case of what is your normal day? Because, you know, my normal and your normal are two totally different things. Doesn't mean one's right and one's wrong, but it's quite nice just to get that conversation going. And of course, our, our normal day has changed to, you know, our normal day today is very different to what it was this time, you know, 18 months ago. You know, in terms of the lockdown then, Oliver, I mean, how has that been for you and for your brother in terms of, you know, you're like the rest of us, you're stuck at home, you know, we can't go and see relatives. How have you dealt with that? And has, has the podcast helped in terms of your mindfulness and your mental health even, just to keep working, keep doing things and keep having conversations with people? Yeah, definitely. It really has. Because one thing that we've noticed is that obviously last last year especially was the most time I've spent at home in over 20 years. So since we, we got the roles as Fred and George. Mm. So to be able to do this and with obviously the, the, te the technology and stuff like that has been really helpful to be able to speak to different people and... You know, it just it just it just kind of gives us something better to do because other, I think if you were just sat at home doing nothing, that could be the worst thing you can ever do. So anything to occupy your your mind space is obviously a good thing. It's probably the least time James and I have seen each other since we were, well, ever. So, so doing yeah, this has been, been quite great. good. Yeah, I'm not. I'm I, yeah, and I'm not saying that that's necessarily a bad thing. But it's, <laughs> been, uh, it's been good though to be able to do this together. Spoken like a true brother. I was just about to say the same thing. Very <laughs> typical sibling behaviour. We actually so. Yeah, we're actually able to um, on the so this new series. So we, we speak to well, it says people that we've we've only met once or twice, and then people that we've known for years. So mm. it's quite funny. We spoke to we did one with uh, Ivana Lynch, and that was really fascinating because again we've known Evie for going on 15 years now, yeah. but we've never really talked about how she got the role of Luna, and hearing it from how she grew up in a, a small town outside of Dublin and now she's uh, known all over the world. But her, her experience going through that was fascinating. But we then, I think we had to edit the episode quite a bit because we ended up talking about how I've all, I keep meaning to go and see a GAA game with her dad. <laughs> so that's one of my top things to do when lockdown finishes. It's incredible. It's incredible. And I think that's what the appeal of the podcast is, that... I think you hit the nail on the head there, James. You've worked with with Evie for 15 years, but you'd never, you would never have those conversations on set because you don't, even though you're spending a lot of time together, you never have those conversations about, you know, extended family or actually, how did you end up getting the gig? You know, and you're you're discovering other people's journeys. Yeah, very much so. It's and uh, that's been something which we've learned with quite a few people, and and even people that we've we've met once or twice. But you, we weren't sure whether if it was going to be funny or not, like speaking to certain people. But it's, it's amazing how witty people are when they're in a very relaxed environment and, and they're not trying to get any, um, like we say, the pub rules are no politics yeah. and no religion. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, but there's a lot of places where you can listen to those. So it's very good when there's just a neutral playing field. So we've, yeah, we've had a really great time recording them. That's a really uh, good idea in the current climate to have those rules and guidelines around your podcast. Very refreshing. Guys, we wish you well. We'll watch your journey with great interest uh, when the world opens up again. And thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Awesome. Thank you very thanks, much, guys. guys. Have a great weekend. weekend. Thank you. Thank now, you, James chefs. and Oliver's podcast, Normal Not Normal, is available now on Apple, Spotify and wherever you get your podcasts. Lovely lads, as we say. Lovely. Lovely lads. Uh, and you can relive the magic with all eight Harry Potter films. Eight. They're all available now on Virgin TV On Demand. It, I was just about to say, it makes me want to go back and watch the first one again. There you go. There you go. Now, up That's next, weekend, raising sort of. a toast. Yeah, exactly, this evening to dry January. Grab the shakers. There's some mocktail making over in the kitchen.